Hello and welcome to all the viewers joining in. It's match week 11 of our League 2 and we are live from the Tilak Maidan here in Goa for game number 44 where Sporting Club de Goa host Sporting Club Bengaluru. Both teams in the back of impressive performances in their last outing will go head to head once again for those three crucial points up for grab here at the Tilak Maidan. The worst fixture of course was a 1-0 victory to Sporting Club Bengaluru where Shravan Shetty's goal proved to be the decisive factor between the two teams. A lot at stake here in Goa this afternoon as we take you through the starting 11 of uh, the home side. Antonio Dalin was always stars in goal. Kunal Keshav, Joel Kulacho, Dheeraj Chauhan and Doyle Alves start the back line. Rohan Rodriguez, Biswa Darji, Shelton Nixon, Sushil Mete, Klusner John and Alistair Anthony form that strong lineup. Like there's just one change for uh, the home side and for uh, the visitors this afternoon. Manoj Swami Kanan starts is leading the side. Rohan Gigi will lead the line. Tomio, Prabin Tigga, Shravan Shetty, Neeraj Kumar in between the stakes. Arif Sheikh, Papuya, Jacob John, Kishan Singh, and uh, Jibin Devasi form their starting 11. Chandrasekhar Rao is the coach of this side from Bengaluru. Players starting on the bench, Marin Fernandez, Alton Waz, Adil, Lloyd Mascarenas, Martins, Lloyd Cardozo, Samuel Abhimanyu Singh, Vipin, Vidip Dua and Liston Cardozo for uh, Sporting Club de Goa. For uh, Bengaluru, Satyajit, Arjun Shawik, Joseph, Karpan, Asif, Oinam, Sayed Omer, Sheikh Muzib and Shanid Walan. Shanid, of course, has uh, opened his account in this year's I-League 2. Those are the players starting out on the bench. It's a very formidable side for both the teams as we take you through the standings at the moment. Sporting Club Bengaluru right on top of the pile with 24 points from 10 games. They have played 8 wins and 2 defeats for them. Followed by their uh, state rivals Bengaluru United, Dempo to follow Sudeva, then Sporting Club de Goa. Lingering in the middle, Kenk Race, Union Sports Club and uh, Maharashtra Orange, the team at the bottom the teams at the bottom of the table. It's going to be a very interesting contest this. Three points for Sporting Club de Goa will take them to the third spot and uh, a win for Sporting Club Bengaluru will definitely solidify their position at the top of the pile. Eight points is the differential and uh, a lot at stake. Both teams would be wary of the fact that uh, this could be a chance for them getting into the business stage of the competition. Finishing in top two will definitely get them the qualification. They are uh, longing for uh, to try and uh, get their way that crucial ticket to play in the I-League next season. And of course, finishing at the bottom will have uh, their own ramifications for the teams dwelling right there. Uh, will have to will have to go and play in. I League 3. The stage is set for a humdinger of a contest here at, at the Tilak Maidan in Goa. And uh, for a sporting club, Bengaluru. Eight wins, two losses, 19 goals. They have scored and have conceded just eight in the process they will be up against a team trying to fight back into the competition 16 points is what sporting club de goa have managed from the 10 games that they have played five victories four defeats and one draw 14 goals scored and nine conceded can they get those three crucial points up for grab here in goa it wasn't a happy start for the visitors managed just one draw from the first three games they played but from there on it has been a journey worth remembering their curve and performances has taken the top notch and at the moment sitting right on top of the pile Photo ops before uh, the kickoff. The home side in orange and uh, 
and the visitors in yellow. Some notable performances from both the sides. Alistair Anthony tied second with the number of goals scored this season. Manoj Kanan and uh, Joel Kalacho. The refereeing officials, the match officials, beg your pardon, Kishore will be the referee for this fixture. Sanjay and Liju would be serving their duties as uh, the assist assistants. Kamblesh Kumar Mehta is the fourth official for this fixture. Rahul Eric TSA is the match commissioner for uh, this one and for all the games here at uh, the Tilak Maidan, perhaps. Now I'll be calling the game for the next 90 minutes. This is Junaid Ahmed from the Combox. It's going to be a cracking of cracker of a contest. This a lot at stake. All eyes will be on the likes of uh, Thomio Shimri, Arif Sheikh, Kishan Singh for the visitors. Alice Ranthini has piled up six goals so far. Home side would be hoping that it is one of his days with the blistering form that he has enjoyed for scoring a cracker in the previous outing as well at the very ground. Prep talk and uh, a final prayer for uh, the Lockhorns for uh, those three crucial points. Lost their first away game on the very first day against Union Sports Club at Kalyani Sporting Club Bengaluru. Won the second one against Maharashtra Orange FC. Arif Sheikh and Kishan Singh scoring a goal each in that fixture and then lost again on the road to Dempo. And from there on, their performances have uh, grown by leaps and bounds right throughout. Neeraj Kumar on your screens and uh, Antonio had a good game uh, last week against FC Bengaluru United. Surely be hoping for a repeat of that performance. Had to make a couple of good saves. We are underway here at the Tilak Maidan. Going from right to left on your screens are the visitors. Decent ball first up there. Gotta get inside. Well dealt in the end. Opened up now. Can somebody take the strike? Oh, what a start to the game! First goal in as many minutes, perhaps the seconds. This is the time the spectators would be settling down and Alistair Anthony has opened up the score sheet. Utilizing the right flank, getting it inside the box, got lucky, fell into the lap of Alistair Anthony who makes no mistake, gets his seventh of the campaign. And what a start to the contest this is. Well, this game definitely has uh, some goals. Because uh, Sporting Club Bengaluru, Bengaluru, beg your pardon, have managed 19 so far. Do we see a swift response from them? The defense could have done much better on that occasion.
goes tied on the first spot with Sanjit Singh Rajput, who's managed seven for uh, Orange FC. Clear their lines comfortably at the moment. They'll have to try and settle their nerves. After conceding early on, Sporting Club Bengaluru. Got a pretty solid start. Sporting Club de Goa would definitely want to continue from here on and try and get that second one. And put this game slightly out of reach. Still early days. Still got 87 minutes of regulation time. That is a lot to ask for. With the quality the visitors possess, you won't be short of any responses coming from their side. Going uh, over the top of the defense there again, getting it inside the box. back by Bengaluru. Wriggles his way. A lovely ball to release uh, the right flank there. Gets it in. Can somebody take the strike? Chance now! Wasn't far away. A brilliant build up. Lays it off nicely for uh, the arriving player there and uh, wasn't far away from uh, Antonio Dillon on that occasion. That's definitely brilliant. From the visitors. The way this is panning out for the first five minutes. Promises to be goals, goals and more goals in this contest. Clues now. Goes over the top. Kulacho there. Kishan Singh. Tika Manoj Kanan Keshav deals with it comfortably, and uh, that's going to be the first corner of this contest. Looks like it's going to be Kishan Singh to try and uh, deliver that. Comes the ball, clear away. And giving us a foul there. For all the viewers joining in, had a goal in the first minute of the game. In fact, in the first few seconds, Alistair Anthony getting his seventh of the campaign. A brisk start to this contest. An early goal and a chance a couple of minutes back for uh, Sporting Club de Goa. Got the shot across the target, wasn't far away. Sporting Club Bengaluru, beg your pardon.
Seven minutes in and uh, the deadlock is already broken. Jacob John there brilliantly done. His kitchen saying, gets it to the right, has got options arriving, gets it inside. Couldn't quite uh, square it up. Well held there by Jacob John, trying to get it away from the Raj. Bit of a skill set there, uh, and uh, hands do go up for uh, a foul just outside the box. Nothing says a ref on that occasion. Brilliant play overall. It's more like ramming into each other there, uh, Jacob Joram along with Kunal Keshev. Couple of changes in the starting 11 for uh, the home side. Rohan Rodriguez is in the squad as well as uh, Sushil. Both the players uh, start in the midfield. Beautifully turned. Creating an opportunity. Has three guys inside uh, the box there. Cut back. Been an impressive performance so far coming in from the home side. Sporting Club de Goa against the team playing some really good football in Sporting Club Bengaluru. Going to be a throw in for uh, Bengaluru. Looks like things have settled down after a bright start to the game. Travin Tigga. Goes for a long ball, headed out comfortably. Back with Praveen again for another throw in. Manoj sends one in. Well dealt in the end by the back line of. Uh, Sporting Club de Goa. Shelton Nixon. Portage there. Wins it back. Putting pressure on the back line are uh, Sporting Club uh, Bengaluru. Dhira Chauhan there trying to go back. Antonio goes aerial this time. Well marshaled in the end by Praveen. Looked uh, out of balance for a bit. Hasn't been a free flowing game in the last couple of minutes, been starts and stops. We'll be looking to try and get that equalizer as soon as possible, Sporting Club Bengaluru. We'll have to try and get the likes of Tomio, Arif, and uh, 
Rohan on the ball consistently. Jacob and Kishan have tried to get it, uh, get the midfield running. Have to be some decent deliveries targeting those three leading the line for uh, Bengaluru. series of uh, throw-ins in the last couple of minutes they get it away somehow balls out for Jacob Jacob there hustling for the ball with uh, Sushil Sushil has uh, been fouled there Club Bangalore on the ball tries to lob it over, gets to the end of it. Oh, that has been given as a penalty. The ref was quick to point to the spot there, and uh, what more? Uh, he goes into the book. Not quite sure uh, who has. Uh, been shown the card there. Looks like it's the skipper who goes into the ref's books and uh, an opportunity now for uh, Sporting Club Bengaluru to try and uh, get their way back into the contest. Wasn't going clearly for the ball there, trying to get. Uh, the player approaching a bit distracted. Looks like it was uh, Tomio Shimrai on that occasion. Would have been an easy collection anyhow for uh, Antonio Dylan. Touch of nerves perhaps. Not quite sure what's uh, coming towards the back. Yes, uh, Tomio Shimrai. For the equaliser. Information of the yellow card there, uh, Joel Colaccio, the skipper, goes into the ref's books. Shimroy makes it 1 1. Was a picture of concentration before he took that. And they have got themselves back into the contest. 16 minutes have been ticked off, and it's 1 1 here at the Tilak Maidan. Early goal from Sporting Club de Goa. And an equalizer coming through a penalty taken by Tomio Shimroy, who gets his sixth of the campaign and puts his team right into the contest. by Sporting Club Bengaluru again. Here's Manoj trying to send one in. This game will spin back to life after a few dull moments in the last five minutes or so. It's all square here at the Tilak Maidan with a lot to play for. A victory for uh, Sporting Club de Bengaluru. Beg your pardons. A victory for Sporting Club de Goa will take them to the third spot and uh, three points for uh, Bengaluru will take them to the top of the table keep them perhaps and solidify their position will go seven points clear from their state rivals FC Bengaluru United from the equal number of games has he taken a knock there he's gone down to the ground physio has been called for
the last seven minutes, 17 minutes, I've seen a couple of chances created. Conceding a penalty against, uh, completely against the run of play, Sporting Club Begoa. Struck beautifully, tucked home beautifully by Tom Yoshimroy. They've got some goals, some goal scorers in their lineup. Sporting Club Bengaluru. This was the 20th goal they have scored in this campaign, and uh, nine different goal scorers for them. Shimroy with six, Arif Sheikh with four, Kishan Singh with a couple. That shows uh, the depth of their squad. Another free kick there for uh, the visitors. This time, Jacob hitting the ground and is back on his feet. Manoj. Merli ball played towards the right flank there. He's got Rohan operating from that channel. Kishan. Chipped over. Rohan on the ball. A limit of control about their position in the last few minutes, Sporting Club Bengaluru. Trying to win those 50-50 battles, going hard in the midfield. Kishan. Went back quite comfortably again and uh, decides to go back. That looks like uh, their preferred strategy. Trying to build up from the back and uh, playing those diagonal balls, targeting those flanks. The right flank has been their preferred route so far going forward. Jacob Romeo beautifully run back with Jacob again wins the ball quite comfortably back with the guard at the back Papuya Puya to Manoj. Manoj goes long. Hands up overheading it. So 20 minutes in and uh, the score line here at the Tilak Maidan reads 1-1. An early goal to the home side. And uh, a penalty at the stroke of 15th minute mark. Promises to be a few more goals in this contest for sure. Both teams with some goal scorers in their ranks. Price for a lofted ball. Uh, the option, perhaps the only option waiting inside the box there. Uh, the run coming in from Tom Roy. Here's Jacob again. It's been a delight to watch Jacob John in the first 20 minutes. Running the midfield for uh, the visitors. Sushil and Rohan, of course. Uh, Starting this fixture for uh, the home side. Arif with a lovely ball chance now. Gets the shot blocked. 
beautifully laid there by Arif Sheikh. Tomio the man there and uh, Dheera Chauhan with the block was caught offside there uh, Tomio Shimroy Haven't seen the attacks coming in from Sporting Club de Go in the last few minutes. The action has shifted after a brisk start to the game. We'll have to try and uh, create something because uh, Sporting Club de Go Bengaluru they keep coming at uh, that back line of uh, Sporting Club de Go. Here's a Kunal Keshav. Let's it away there and uh, a foul has been given against Rohan Rodriguez. Right, who's going to be behind this one? Looks like, is it uh, Rohan or... Uh, Luzner he clears it away and it's going to be a corner to Sporting Club de Goa. Opportunities have dried up for uh, Sporting Club de Goa in the last uh, few minutes. Klusna sets it in. Praveen Tiga there with the final touch can see another corner. We we'll have to try and get the ball in those decent areas. That's exactly where they got. Heads will have to go up and uh, find that back of the net. Sporting Club de Goa. Another chance now. Couldn't quite get anything behind that one. And uh, the follow up there. Well done in the end by Sporting Club Bengaluru. Sending it again. again uh, falls for uh, Jacob Tuzner to Kunal there. Taking the shot with his left. And uh, routine save in the end for the goalkeeper. Some pain there. Sporting club they go up there. I wonder who he is. Joel Colacho there. I couldn't quite keep it on target. Looks like it was Biswa who's uh, hit the ground. was a very good chance to try and keep it on target and test the goalkeeper on that occasion for uh, the home side. Jacob John has had a good game so far for uh, the visitors running the midfield trying to get those balls towards uh, the players playing further forward for them would love to try and create something going uh, forward in this game Jacob they've got all the firepower required to win this one sporting 
Club Bengaluru. Beautifully done. Here comes Manoj. Lobs it over. Well, that seems to be the strategy for uh, Sporting Club Bengaluru. Trying to kill those balls uh, diagonally towards the likes of Ari Sheikh and uh, Tomio. It has worked out for them on a couple of occasions. The likes of uh, Alistair Anthony, Doyle Alves are uh, missing out of the action in the last few minutes for uh, the home side. Viraj to Praveen. Papuya. Skishan Singh. Again, trying to drill one through there and find uh, Rohan. Dirach to Kunal. That was poor in the end. No conviction probably behind that one and uh, ends up hitting it. There's uh, Sporting Club Bangalore again. Winning all those 50-50 battles at the moment. Sporting Club Bengaluru. Tomio, they're uh, tracking back to try and help the midfield out. He wins the ball eventually and uh, goes all the way back. Decent pressure from the home side. Get it away from that corner. Here comes Praveen. He's... Uh, it's straight towards uh, Jacob John again. Keep the possession somehow. Sporting Club Bengaluru. Here's uh, Kishan Singh. Trying to weigh his options inside. Switches the play. Goes towards the right. Takes it on the left. Goes for the strike. Makes the goalkeeper work. Long ranger from outside. Jibin Devashi there to open up nicely for him was uh, in with a bit of a space there and decides to go for the shot and uh, on the other side Alistair Anthony has been flagged offside quick drinks break and uh, an opportunity for both the head coaches to throw in a quick word and at the moment is even Stevens we may call it an early strike coming in from Sporting Club Dukura. and uh, that was cancelled out at the 15th minute park by Sporting Club Bengaluru. Penalty was awarded for uh, a challenge on uh, probably a push on the number 11 Tomio by Joel Jacob who was eventually given a yellow card. Back again after the drinks break. They are moving the ball with purpose. The midfield trying to go all by himself there. Uh, 
Jacob John. Here comes Kishan Singh for the support. Has got options inside the box. Gets the cross and cleared out by the defense of the home side. Can they try and convert from here on? Loses the ball halfway there and uh, couldn't quite convert, in fact, uh, from defense to attack on that occasion. Sporting clubber Dave Bengal. Dave Goa, beg your pardon. It's Praveen. They're playing those channels beautifully, sporting club ben Bengaluru. They get the ball. Swift 1-2 passing and uh, switch the play towards the flanks. They've used, utilized uh, the right flank consistently. Swift given goes and uh, targeting the likes of Rohan and Arif. Tomio for most parts of the 30 minutes have stayed a bit more central. Manoj plays it down the line. Here's Jacob again from the left. Thiraj wins it. One back by Sporting Club Bengaluru. That was a poor giveaway there by the home side. Here's Papuya for Praveen. Down the line, a deft touch there. Heeraj gets to it. Here comes Bangaluru. Controlling the ball beautifully at the moment. Going for uh, a lot perhaps to try and find Garif or Tomio perhaps or Rohan. Also coming from an offside position there. Still got about nine minutes in the regulation time and I presume about four minutes added on. Dheeraj. Here comes Joel, who's already on a yellow card. Putting some pressure on uh, Antonio Dillon there, Tomio. Alistra. Manoj for Jacob. Still Jacob. Here comes Kishan. They are dominating the midfield right throughout uh, Sporting Club. Bengaluru. They have found uh, a bit difficult to win the ball back. It has to be careful. Joel Colacho is already on a yellow card there. Ref probably saw a little bit behind that one and uh, whistled straight against him. Jibin Devasi. This one. Manoj. Manoj. 
wasn't the best of deliveries coming in from him. Has been able to negotiate the play quite a bit. Uh, Manoj Kanan has targeted uh, the right flank from those positions playing out uh, centrally in the back. They are dominating the position at the moment, Sporting Club Bengaluru and uh, Sporting Club De Goa after an early strike. They've got unnoticed so far, barring a couple of corners. Well dealt, and well dealt with, allowing the ball to cross his body. Here comes uh, Bengaluru again. Marshalled out in the end by Dheeraj there. An early release for uh, Alistair Anthony who was uh, caught offside. Linesman, the linesman was up in a flash. Still got six minutes and a bit left in the normal time. from Alistair. Jacob. Here's Manoj. Kishan back with Manoj again. Bit of uh, uncontrolled play there and uh, Nothing too threatening about it. Here comes Manoj again. This kick perhaps falls beautifully for uh, the home side. Can they convert this opportunity? Was uh, starting from an offside position again, Alistair Anthony. Arms do go up in the air, but uh, just to add a bit of disappointment on that, open up nicely for them. That was uh, from a mistake there from the sporting club uh, Bengaluru. Barring that first minute has been. Sporting Club Bengaluru, who have uh, dominated the proceedings for most parts of those 40 minutes, have created a couple of opportunities, got a penalty, converted, have dominated the midfield right throughout. Sporting Club de Goa will have to come back with a better plan in the second half to try and get that all important lead. Beautifully done again, trying to release uh, Tomio there, Thiraj and Joel Kulacho marshalling it out, back with Joel, bit of a heavy touch perhaps, was under pressure from uh, Rohan. Praveen. Quick look at uh, how they have fared in the attacking front. Three shots for uh, the home side, four for uh, Bengaluru. They have been able to keep it on target. Sporting Club they go on all those three occasions and Bengaluru on 50% of those four opportunities they have had. A corner meanwhile for uh, the visitors. An opportunity before the first half. try and uh, put the home side under some sort of pressure.
Yum's delivery cleared out by Sushil. Praveen there with a header. The danger hasn't faded away yet. Cleared out quite comfortably in the end by Sporting Club de Goa. Got in a couple of bites at the cherry on that occasion. Sporting Club Bengaluru. Nothing meaningful or tangible coming out of that one. Here comes uh, Sporting Club de Goa again. Displays pass in the end. Uh, unable to find Kunal Keshav on that occasion who overran. And uh, wasn't in a position to try and track back to receive, to retrieve it perhaps. Manoj. Shielded by Tomio. That has been given as a foul on uh, was going for the ball there. Biswa Darji. Was the man initially with the possession? A challenge coming from the back. He's had a decent campaign, Biswadarji, right throughout. I've started in almost all games for uh, Sporting Club de Goa. He's been a pivotal part of that back line alongside Joel Kulacho, Dhiraj, Kunal, being regular starters. Dhiraj. Lobs one in. Doyle leaves it for uh, Rohan. Rohan goes to the ground. And that has been pointed to the spot just before the half time break. Sporting Club de Goa have been awarded a penalty. Four minutes of stoppages have been signaled by the fourth official. And a realistic chance now for the home side to go a goal up in this contest. Well, how much was the contact there? Rohan, the tackle coming in from Manoj Kanan, the skipper. Skippers on both sides, number five being the guilty party on both occasions as far as penalties are concerned. Looks like it's going to be Doyle Alves behind this one. Neeraj Kumar was going through his mind. Doyle Alves under some sort of pressure. Final prayer. Can he go past Neeraj Kumar? All eyes on Doyle Alves. Makes it 2 1 to the home side. As cool as ice. Just before he took that. And that celebration to round it off. Sporting Club de Goa. Go, a goal up 2-1 it is at the 47th minute mark here at the Tilak Maidan there's the right side there Neeraj was struck beautifully with some force along the ground and uh, it's the back of the net with ease First half is ending as good as it started for a sporting club to go an early goal in the contest. Courtesy Alistair Anthony were pegged back by a penalty scored by Tomio Shimroy. 
And a penalty again on the other side of the pitch to Sporting Club de Goa. Doyle Alves converting it from the spot. away here comes uh there's alistair anthony there tackle coming in with some force from the back it's gonna be a very interesting decision for uh, the ref to make and uh, he goes into the books there papuya looked like harsh the moment he fell on the pitch alistair anthony Seconds away from uh, the end of the stoppages. A goal. Just towards the end of the regulation time in the first half. Here comes uh, Bengluru again. Squares it up nicely. A very crucial block coming in. He had options waiting in the middle there. And uh, Sushil was right in front of that cross and denies the ball coming towards. Uh, the other Bengaluru players waiting for uh, Jacob. Jacob gets it in, pushed out by Antonio. Almost a minute past the stoppage time. Again with a cross there and this time Antonio grabs it quite comfortably. And uh, that's the first half, says the ref. A brisk start. A thunderous one to the game. Goal scored early on in the contest by Alistair Anthony. That was uh, neutralized at the 15th minute mark by Tomio Shimre. And just before... Uh, the end of the first half regulation time a penalty was awarded converted quite comfortably by Doyle Alves so that's the half time score here at the Tilak Maidan Sporting Club de Goa 2 and Sporting Club Bengaluru 1 Just in case if you have missed out on the action, this is how it panned out. Game number 44 of match week 11. Sporting Club de Goa playing host to Sporting Club Bengaluru. Alistair Anthony getting his seventh of the campaign. Going past Neeraj Kumar in the first few seconds of the contest. And this was a brilliant strike. Wasn't far away by any stretch of imagination there and uh, push towards uh, Jibin Devasi if I'm not mistaken and then Joel Kalasho went into the ref's box converted quite comfortably in the end uh, setting the goalkeeper the other way Tom Yoshimre that was uh, just towards the end of the first quarter has been a dried game from there on and then this one sting his uh, left leg out Manoj Kanan and Doyle Alves as cool as you like from the spot the goalkeeper gets it right but uh, that shot had a bit of venom behind that one and uh, 
goes whistling past Neeraj Kumar into the back of the net. A yellow card there for the lunge towards Alistair Anthony from Papuya just before uh, the end of the stoppages. So this is how it panned out and uh, the scoreline at the moment is Sporting Club de Goa to Sporting Club Bengaluru 1. Quick look at uh, the halftime stats. Four shots taken by both the sides. Four on target by the home side and two by Sporting Club Bengaluru. Two corners to Sporting Club Goa and three to Bengaluru. Eight fouls. Hasn't, hasn't been a clean game so far. Free kicks. One yellow card aside. No red cards in the game. 52% to Sporting Club de Goa as far as uh, possession is concerned. And 48% to the visitors. It's going to be a very interesting second half coming our way from the Tilak Maidan here in Goa. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back in about a few minutes from now.
Enthralling action awaits us here at the Tilak Maidan for the next set of 45 minutes. Sporting Club De Goa at home taking on uh, Sporting Club Bengaluru. And at the moment, the home side are on top as far as the scoreline is concerned. It's a good start to the game, a goal early on for them. Alistair Anthony converting from inside the box. And it was equalized at the 15th minute mark. Goal coming in for uh, Tomio Simri. Penalty was awarded and was uh, beautifully converted by Tomio Simri for his sixth of the campaign. And uh, in the dying embers of the first half, Doyle Alves scoring from the spot. So as it stands, it's 2 1 to the home side with all to play for. Uh, victory for uh, Sporting Club de Goa will take them to the third spot and a win for uh, Sporting Club Bengaluru will solidify their position at the top of the table. They move on to 27 points, 7 cleared from 11 games of their state rivals, FC Bengaluru United. So it's uh, game number 44, match week 11, coming to you live from the Tilak Maidan in Goa. Change at the halfway mark. Lloyd Mascaranis is coming on and he replaces Sushil in the midfield. is still on for uh, the ref to give his final go ahead before uh, getting the second half underway and there we go it's going to be an exciting contest this surely started uh, on a brisk note in the first half and uh, sporting club de goa would love to score one more and put this game to bed Information of the change once again sporting for Sporting Club de Goa. Lloyd Mascaranis is on in place of Sushil Meiti. Trying to hustle for the ball there, the back line, firing it for it. Going from right to left, our Sporting Club de Goa. Being that sort of a game, being few starts and stops right throughout. It's a huge midfield battle because uh, of course some quality players in their ranks. Jacob John, Kishan Singh. They have dominated the midfield right throughout. And when an opportunity came from the spot, Sporting Club de Goa have managed to sneak in and have taken the lead. Here comes the Bengaluru from the left. Still with Bengaluru, trying to wriggle his way inside the box there. The referee had a close look to it. Putting pressure on that back line, not trying to settle them in there. Praveen. Puya, Mr. Anthony, 
They win it somehow. Here comes uh, Sporting Club de Goa. Has got help arriving from the left. Can he get the cross in? Biswa has taken a reflection of Praveen. Has gone out for a corner. Good play first up. Putting pressure on that back line. Winning the ball back. Shifting it towards the left. And Biswa there. Trying to set up for uh, Alistair Anthony and the likes. That was uh, definitely in those areas. This comes Kishan. Has got held towards his left. Arif Sheikh running away with it. Can he take the strike? He's got very less room to work with. Decides to go back. In comes across now. Lloyd. That's going to be a foul there. Scott pushing at it. The Puya backtracking. Not giving any time and space on the ball for uh, the chasing Alistair Anthony on that occasion. like a foul there has stayed down on the ground we'll have to wait for uh, the final confirmation perhaps Karan was right in front there for a moment. Thought uh, it's going to be a second yellow. It's the first yellow for uh, Manoj Karan. Joel Colacho, his counterpart, getting uh, a yellow and uh, conceding that penalty. So both the skippers on yellow cards at the moment. Jibin gets across in Rohan there from the right straight at uh, Antonio. Antonio goes aerial for uh, Alistair Anthony. Got stuck in his uh, boot there and here comes uh, Praveen. Puya does beautifully to find uh, the run coming in from Shravan Shetty there. I'll track back in the end by Joel Colacho. It's been a sedate start to the second half. Nothing being created on both sides of the pitch. All that could change with the quality of the players we have.
Shravan Shetty. Linking up beautifully with Arif Sheikh there. Arif couldn't quite get the ball back towards uh, Shravan there. Here comes uh, Alistair Anthony. So decent effort there. Perhaps ends up uh, overhitting it, in fact. And uh, Puya gets to the end of it. On the turn there. Jacob John has taken a knock while turning. So 53 minutes in the contest and uh, we are exactly where we started this second half at. Nothing tangible has been created so far in the second half. Early release there for uh, Rohan. Rohan getting it away from Kluzna. Squares it nicely. Biswadarji hurls it away for uh, a corner to the visitors. Throwing perhaps. Gets the ball in. Jibin. Squares it up. Misses everybody in the process. Shravan Shetty there with that cross. Praveen. Back with Kishan now. Shravan. Bit of a heavy touch there. Falls nicely for Rohan. Rohan and Shravan have swapped out places. Let's it roll over across his body. He gets the cross in chance now. A heavy touch perhaps. Arif Sheikh. Could have done slightly better on that occasion, Arif Sheikh. He's managed four goals so far, Arif. Lobs that one in and uh, a routine save in the end for uh, Antonio. Scored a brace in the, in the previous fixture, Arif Sheikh against Dempo. Pause for Anthony. Anthony has a help from Biswadarji. Oh, what a strike that is. Biswadarji with an absolute goalie. What a goal that was. Set up beautifully by Alistair Anthony. Biswadarji arriving. Takes the strike from out of the box. And lands safely into the back of the net. Beats Neeraj Kumar with ease there. What a game this is turning out to be. Just when it looked like we had dull moments. An absolute worldy from Biswa Darji. Time is going to run away quite quickly for Sporting Club Bengaluru. We'll have to try and uh, get a swift response. Trailing by two goals now. That should give some sort of cushion for uh, the home side. 
Early release there for uh, number 21, Shravan Shetty. We've got presence of some yellow shirts inside the box. Can they get the ball towards uh, Shravan there? Couldn't quite get in the end. And that's going to go out for uh, a corner to Sporting Club Bengaluru. Left with a daunting task. Lost two games in the first. Three weeks, perhaps. Sporting Club Bengaluru. Bengaluru. And from there on, there's been seven unbeaten games. Today they are on the brink of losing their third of the campaign. In comes the ball again. Well dealt with in the end by Sporting Club uh, De Goa. <laughs> Alistair Anthony giving it a chase. <laughs> Was a handball there on uh, Praveen Tigga. Another free kick. They are definitely in the range for uh, this one. A decent spot to win the free kick for uh, the home side. If they go to score on to score from here on, it's going to be game set and match as far as uh, they are concerned. Joel Colacho has uh, briefly gone out for a bit of a treatment there with the physio. Who's going to be the main orchestrator behind this one? We've got uh, scores of player there. Rohan Doyle Alves has already scored a penalty. Or is it going to be Biswa? Was uh, Kluzner perhaps and uh, doesn't hit the target. Neeraj Kumar. Starting it pretty quick. Still got 30 minutes left in the contest. And every possible opportunity for uh, Sporting Club Bengaluru to try and come back from this position. They've got some quality players in their ranks. It's all about getting the ball towards uh, the likes of Tom Yoshimre, Arif Sheikh, Rohan. Delightful ball there coming in. Well dealt in the end. John Jacob. Negotiated in the end by the back line. Falls back to John Jacob again. Brilliantly done. Interception coming in from Joel Colaccio. Shelton Nixon, beg your pardon. A bit of a trickery there for uh, Rohan to receive it. And that has gone out for uh, another corner to the visitors. <laughs> the 
Jibin Devashi is out. And so is Rohan. Rohan gives his way to Matthews. A couple of changes for uh, the visitors. Definitely the cue for uh, the way this has panned out for them. Arjun Jairaj is in place for uh, Jivin Devashi. Uh, Sporting Club Bangalore prepares to take this corner. Gets the ball into that decent spot. Chance now. From the outside the box. Dira Chauhan gets it away quite completely. It was a sixth corner of the game for uh, Sporting Club Bangalore. Was a decent delivery there. The idea was right. Shravan Shetty was trying to get to the end of it. Saw the movement from uh, Shravan Shetty there and uh, hurled the ball towards uh, that six yard box. Shravan Shetty scored in the reverse fixture in Bengaluru when these two times met, teams met. Arjun Jairajan for uh, Jibin Devashi, life for life replacements. Both these players operate in the midfield of uh, Sporting Club uh, Bengaluru. And a forward taken out, forward in the 11. Johnson Joseph Matthews in for uh, Roshan. Still got uh, Sayyid Umair and uh, Sheikh Muzib sitting out on the bench. Both players play as forwards in this Bangalore unit. Chandra Shekhar Ra would be looking for options and wait for where that next goal is going to come from. Next goal uh, would definitely be a decisive factor in this contest. A goal for Sporting Club de Goa. They surely sit out the remainder of the game. But if Bangalore were to score, it will definitely make things a little more interesting going into the last 20 minutes or so. Yes, Praveen. Lovely bit of a give and go there. Puya drops the ball, makes the run, couldn't get it back. One in the end by Sporting Club uh, De Goa. Kapua going for it. Challenge from the back, perhaps, and uh, from Simre. That ends in a foul, and it's going to be free kick for uh, the home side. Luzna shifts the play towards uh, the right and finds an orange shirt there, getting it away from the defense. Can he take the strike? Leaves it. Acrobatic stuff there from uh, Shelton Nixon. Three minutes left in the regulation time. And at the moment, Sporting Club de Goa are winning this with ease. Two goal cushion, two goals to the good. Do we have a response coming in from the visitors this afternoon? The 
There haven't been chances by any stretch of imagination. Here comes Shravan Shetty. He squares it up nicely. Well negotiated in the end by Dhira Chohan. The danger hasn't died down yet. Sporting Bengaluru still with the ball. Praveen. They have utilized that right channel quite effectively so far. Shravan Shetty has made those runs with ease. Getting the better of uh, the left back there. There's the finishing touch that has a uh, lag right throughout for uh, Sporting Club Bengaluru. Help hasn't arrived from the other side of the flank. Arif. Haven't seen uh, enough of Arif or uh, Tomio Shimrai from the open play so far. They've had the opportunities in terms of getting the ball in the final third, but uh, the quality has lacked. The defence has uh, been right up there for Sporting Club de Goa as well. Still got 20 minutes in the normal to try to try and uh, peg back something from this contest. In comes the ball. Praveen there with a the strike. Ends up uh, missing it. Chance now. Oh, what a strike that is. A brilliant strike coming in from Tomio Shimri. Guess their seventh of the campaign. Tomio was in an awkward position there, but ends up. Hitting the top corner, laid off beautifully by Papoy. Antonio was in no position whatsoever to get something behind that one. Is that the beginning of a comeback into this contest? Like I've been stressing enough, this team has absolute quality going forward. Tomio Shimre got an opportunity and scored. Here comes uh, Tomio again. Has got two waiting inside the box. Decides to go on himself. And uh, goes way over the target. With 20 minutes left in the game, Sporting Club de Goa would be feeling the heat now. Ideally, they would definitely like to score one more and take this game away from Bengaluru. Victory for them will take them to the third spot. If it stays the way it is and uh, a yellow card for uh, time wasters there on Antonio Dillon. A couple more changes for uh, the visitors. Asif is going to come on and he replaces Kishan Singh. And Shai is on in place of Jacob John. Life like replacements again. They are going for uh, the win. there one back by sporting goa sense of urgency now from bengaluru they've retained the ball really well have uh, won those 50 50 opportunities especially in the midfield the likes of kishan and jacob have uh, put on quite a shift this afternoon. They have been replaced as a brilliant ball there for uh, Shravan Shetty, who was running originally from an offside position.
information of those changes. Shy in place of Kishan Singh for Sporting Club Bengaluru. And Asif, of course, in place of uh, Jacob John, has been outstanding for uh, the 70 odd minutes he was on the pitch. Here comes Bangalore again. Matthews on the ball. Shifts it towards the left. Has got some space to work with. Takes a touch. Goes to the ground. The ref was well placed there and decides against it. Matthews couldn't quite keep it. It's going to be a throw in for uh, the home side. Drinks break in the second half at the 74th minute mark. And a uh, quick break to reflect on the proceedings here at the Tilak Maidan. Both the coaches would uh, definitely wish to have another quick word. Shravan. Does well to win it there. Early release there from Art of Sheikh. Was anticipating for the run of one of those players playing further forward to try and uh, get to the end of it. Playing way too deep now, has just shifted out on the flanks. Here comes Arif. A lovely ball for Shravan. That was a brilliant opportunity there. He could have gone for the goal. The, uh, the angle, of course, was getting way too weird. Caught in two miles, perhaps, whether to go for the cross or go for the goal. There was option towards uh, the far post there. Delightful ball by Arif Sheikh to find uh, Shravan Shetty. Biswadarji is in some discomfort there. Definitely not the prettiest of sights to see the player being taken out that way. And what a contest this has turned out to be. Three goals in the first half. And two in the second. Sporting Club de Goa are hanging on to that lead at the moment. A couple more changes. Nixon is going to come off and uh, Adil replaces him. Biswadarji goes out and uh, Vidip takes his position. Good. 
So about 20, 12 minutes in the regulation time. They've got their uh, best 11 fresh legs on the pitch, Sporting Club Bengaluru. Would love to score one more and uh, try and take something out of this fixture. Haven't drawn a game yet. Eight victories, two defeats is what they have managed in the 10 games they have played so far. Neeraj Kumar, a routine save in the end. Five victories for uh, Sporting Club Degoa. Four defeats and a drawn game for them as well. Here comes Bengaluru. Matthews gets to the end of it. Takes it towards the left and to the right. Gets the cross in. Falls out nicely there. Couldn't quite get uh, anything behind that one perhaps. Here comes Bengaluru again. Has got options waiting in the middle. Waiting for the cross perhaps. Hustling for the ball in that channel. Cardozo on in place of Biswakar Darji. Number 49, Cardozo. And Adil Khan, like I mentioned, gets the place of Shelton Nixon. Is that a too harsh challenge there? Coming from Adil Khan. That was his first involvement in the game, and uh, he goes into the ref's book straight away. That was a bit harsh, perhaps. Not getting the ball, getting the player in the end. Matthews. For the setup. And that has been given as a foul. Liston has just come on. And concedes a free kick at a dangerous spot there. Can Sporting Club Bangalore make this count? As you could heard the noise there coming in from the bench. have to make the goalkeeper work for this one. I have to try and test him out. It's had a decent game so far, uh, Antonio. Couldn't quite uh, get anything behind that penalty and then was caught completely on the other side for that second goal coming in from Tome Shimre. Tome leaves it. Oh, what a goal that is! What a comeback this has been! Sporting Club Bengaluru looked down and out. It was a mountain to climb. And they have responded and how. A needless free kick conceded. Finds the right spot, beating the goalkeeper. Antonio Dillon diving full length to his right. Matthews there getting the all important goal and all important equalizer to get this game in the balance. This team has got absolute quality going forward. And when it mattered the most, a hero rose to the occasion. Like one of those uh, team members from the bench uttered a word, make this count. Matthews has definitely made that opportunity count. Another chance now for uh, Sporting Club uh, Bengaluru. Takes it on the left, gets the strike away. 
going to be a goal kick. They will surely go for the winner with the amount of time that is left in this contest. Johnson Joseph Matthews. Goal scorer. What a game this has turned out to be. A goal scorer in the first few seconds of the comp of the game and then penalties on both sides of the pitch. In the second half, three more. And still we are not done yet. Still got uh, seven minutes left in the contest and everything can happen. It's an open game. It's going to test the abilities of the players playing further forward. We've got the likes of it. Alistair Anthony, Doyle Alves. Zarif Sheikh on the other side, along with Tom Roy Shimre. Shravan Shetty has uh, utilized the right flank beautifully. Joseph has scored a blinder. Kluzna. Adil. Bit of a heavy touch there. Not allowing the turn of uh, Alistair Anthony. Beautifully defended in the end. Still with Sporting Club de Goa. Praveen somehow gets it away. Here comes uh, the run of Kunal Kesha from the right. And that's going to be a corner for uh, the home side. Papua there. Papuya, I beg your pardon. For the final touch, that one is going to be Klusner James to deliver this one. Game is hanging right in the balance now. Anything can happen at any point of time because both these teams are uh, capable of going head to head and getting that all important final goal. Here comes the ball just now. Oh, they go on top again. Adil Khan has got the ball into the back of the net. Just when it mattered, from the corner, from the set keys, the home side takes the lead one more time in the contest. This is the final goal of the game. Yes, on the score sheet for the very first time this campaign, Adil Khan, much to the delight of a lot of fans who have turned up. Kuzner James setting that up beautifully. Goes to the right of uh, Neeraj Kumar, Adil. One of those defenders there uh, losing out on Adil. Nadal does brilliantly to find uh, the back of the net. Here's an opportunity now for uh, Tomio. You'd we'll love to see how these remaining three minutes into the game. with the strike An easy pouch in the end for uh, Antonio it's only on a yellow card four time wastage it's taken a reflection and uh, a hard and a mark moment for uh, the goalkeeper there it's definitely going to eat up a few more seconds for that Sporting Club de Goa would love to hang on to this. What a game this has been. Another sub. 
about two minutes to play out in the regulation time. Approximately three minutes is what I believe would uh, or should be added on perhaps. Not quite sure uh, what the fourth ref was, if was uh, signaling there. Couldn't quite get the lightings right, I believe. There's a sporting club they go again, rattles the woodwork. Now you see it, it's Omer is going to come on and he replaces number 18. Asif Oem, who came in as a sub in the second half, goes out and makes place for uh, Sayed Umair. Sayed Umair, of course, uh, scored in that game against Kingery FC. 4 3 was the score line there at the full time mark in favor of uh, sporting club Bengaluru the score line is similar or perhaps same but in the opposite direction Adil calls out for uh, Bengaluru oh that was a nasty one there Lloyd uh, Cardozo looked like for a moment he stepped on one of those players down there. Looks like it's uh, number 11, Tomio Shimri. Matthews. Seven minutes have been added on. It's going to be a long, long seven minutes for uh, Sporting Club de Goa every opportunity for the visitors to try and peg back one more time every time they have been down and out in this contest oh that wasn't far away brilliant setup from the set piece a thumping header what a delivery that was what a header that was had that got the right direction there was no chance whatsoever for antonio dylan to get to the back of that one There's a sporting club they go again through their number eight, Lloyd Mascaranis. Trying to shield the ball there. There's a Liston Cardozo. Still got four minutes and uh, a thick bit left in the contest. Can uh, SCB come back? Here's Adil. He's got a free kick. The pressure was coming from behind the back there on Adil. Surely eat up a few more seconds uh, for that free kick. Luzna. Ambitious. 
was over. Arif Sheikh couldn't quite get to the end of it on that occasion. Here comes Matthews again. Matthews with his left gets the shot blocked. Turned away quite quickly by Johnson. Lloyd Cardozo, beg your pardon. Lloyd Cardozo playing as forward for uh, the home side. Johnson Matthews, of course, the number 10 for uh, the visiting side. Another opportunity for uh, Antonio. Try and uh, eat up a few more seconds. It's already on a yellow card, Antonio. Rajam Jairaj, keep the ball is the call from the touch line. And those are staggering numbers. Seven shots with six landing on target, converting them into four goals for the home side. Eleven shots taken by the visitors with five on target and three ending up as goals. What a game this has turned out to be. Right before the kickoff, I did mention the word is going to be a humdinger of a contest. And the way this has panned out has been definitely one of the games. Of course, uh, sporting club Bengaluru versus Kinker FC was a high scoring fixture as well. Seven goals were scored, and the result ending in favor of uh, Bengaluru. And here has gone the opposite way. Still have time. Takes the touch. Chance now to finish the game off. Oh! That was nicked off the feet of Alistair Anthony on that occasion. Brilliantly done by Neeraj Kumar. It had opened up nicely for Sporting Club de Goa. It would have been game set and match with a couple of minutes left. Johnson. Just waiting for uh, Shravan Shelly to make that run upwards. Seventy seconds in the stoppages. Shravan finds Arif. Arif. Well, that was a poor affair in the end. It opened up nicely there for the cross. Had uh, options waiting inside the box there and poor affair in the end. kick in favor of uh, sporting club Bengaluru we'll have to try and keep the ball to win this one from here on sporting club de Goa still Bengaluru dying embers of the game foul conceded a realistic chance now the free kick that they, they got on the previous occasion, they made it count through Johnson Matthews. Can they find that same motivation to try and test the goalkeeper out from this range? It will have to be a very special effort if somebody has to get there. I've got the options who can deliver. Likes of uh, Tomio Shimre, Johnson himself. Waiting coolly behind this one. Johnson to take it. Sets it up. Chance now! Wasn't far away.
The idea was right and so was execution. It was just the finishing touch that lagged on that occasion. Looked like a well-rehearsed drill in the end. And uh, that's the time we have, says the ref. Three goals in the first half, four in the second. In the end, it was the decider score by Adil Khan at the 86th minute mark, proving to be just enough for the home side to take all the three points up for grab here at the Tilak Maidan. Sporting Club Bengaluru came in with all the firepower they had, but on the day, it wasn't just enough against a very resilient Sporting Club de Goa side. A goal score in the first minute by Alistair Anthony set the tone for a perfect set of 90 minutes. Pegged back by Tomio Shimre through a penalty converted. Doyle Alves getting their second. And it was about Biswakar Darji with a worldie from outside the box. Cancelled out in the end by Tomio again. It was a topsy turvy ride for uh, the entirety of 90 minutes here at the Tilak Maidan. And in the end, the home team holding their nerve to win this one quite comfortably. They move to the third spot in the table, Sporting Club de Goa. Just above Dempo Sports Club, their state rival. Anything can happen with uh, the number of games still got. 19 points from 11 games. They'll have to win all the three outings to try and get themselves on that top spot. And of course, uh, will have to rely on the results and the other fixtures going their way. And in case if you have missed out on the action, it was an action-packed game from the get-go. Alistair Anthony smuggling it past the goalkeeper there. He wasn't anticipating in the first few seconds of the game getting his uh, seventh goal of the campaign. It was a good shot, a good strike taken towards the goal from Sporting Club Bengaluru. And then this was the moment. Joel Colaccio getting a yellow card, conceding a penalty and uh, sending the goalkeeper in the opposite direction was uh, Tomio Shimre. That was 1-1 at the 15th minute mark, just at the end of the first quarter. And then Manoj Kanan sticking his left foot out on Rohan Rodriguez. Beautifully converted. The goalkeeper gets it right, but that ball had uh, that strike perhaps had a lot of venom behind that one to whistle it past Neeraj Kumar. So that was just before uh, the halftime break. Papuya there getting into the ref's books for a challenge on Alistair Anthony. So that was the halftime whistle and it started a bit sedately in the second half. And then this moment came in. Biswakar Darji from way outside the box beating Neeraj Kumar once again. And what a strike this was. Tomio Shimre laid off nicely by Papuya. No chance for uh, the goalkeeper. Was uh, probably having a go at one of his defenders there to try and uh, for not marking the zone perhaps. And Adil came in straight away conceding a foul. And uh, this strike from... Johnson John Matthews leveling the score uh, once again for uh, the visitors Adil Khan when it mattered the most rising up to the occasion delivering it for his side a thumping header into the back of the net 
to beat Neeraj Kumar for the fourth time this afternoon. And that was uh, the final goal to take uh, Sporting Club de Goa to a goal cushion. They could have had a bit more. Literally nicking it off Alistair Anthony's feet there, Neeraj did brilliantly. And just before the full time whistle, beautifully executed plan. And uh, it was just the finishing touch that was lacking in the end. Full time stats eight shots to 12 for uh, the home side, six on target, converting those six into four goals, uh, five shots on target with three goals. Eight corners for other visitors, four for the home side, 11 versus 14 on fouls, resulting in the same number of free kicks. Two yellow cards each, two goalkeeper saves on each side of the pitch. Possession wise, Sporting Club Bengaluru dominating it by 53%. Nothing much to choose between the two sides. It's been an action packed day right throughout. Seven goals scored here at the Tilak Maidan, and what a game this has been! Sporting Club de Goa. Go to the third, third spot. Sporting Club Bengaluru still at the top of the pile at the moment. They are with 24 points from the 11 games they have played so far. Four points clear of uh, their state rivals, FC Bengaluru United. Do join us again next week. And uh, it's going to be a very exciting week coming up. Match week 12 of the I-League 2 where... Uh, we get into the business stage of the competition. A lot of exciting games coming our way. So do join us again later. And for the moment, it's me, Junaid Ahmed, calling it a day. Goodbye.